seven, 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 seven. That's a lot of sevens. It, it should it should stop soon, right? There's no way it doesn't stop soon. It is a Lord of the Rings shirt, yeah. It has the uh, the fellowship thingy with like the actual ring text around it. It's very cool. Miss Abby's got it for me for Christmas. The playing around with Fiora is kind of doomed from that spot. Maybe I can just play Vi for Bruiser Enforcer. it would be okay. Just don't really have any units to complement it. That's a <laughs> big one, most. When's my season end? Like two weeks, I think. Uh, there's no way you can go nine without the Mundo pair. Because if you even get to nine, you don't have Mundo two, and like, what are you playing at nine? Right? I'm just like playing this guy. Like, going nine there is not. Oh, shit, wait, that's a Merc. Oh. Oh, me, oh, my. All right. Okay, I should have played these two, right? Because I don't have a higher chance of getting. Maybe I don't have a higher chance of getting Merc Augment, regardless. I'm not really paying attention. Yeah, they're probably ever trying to... Alright, I'm gonna have to make this cost more for sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. Augments can be... I, I think they're supposed to be slightly directed by your board. Pretty positive. If only I got offered Challenger spat there, or gotten a Quinn for free. I skipped TTS reward? That's that's not a bad idea. That is definitely not a bad idea. Can't pre-level, so I'm definitely not hitting marks on 3-1, or 2-1. <laughs> huh. Definitely not hitting marks on 2-1, Copium. Do I care about making sure I lose? I always forgot what this was. It's not big web. I at least need to make a cooldown on it, probably, huh? You guys remember when it was a big thing to just have, like, the whole B-movie script? Uh, like, like, it was the funniest thing in the world for people to just play the whole B-movie script or recite it. Fun fact, Appy is the name of one of the largest American chains in the Netherlands. Oh, that's very cool, Cheezer. Yeah, chat's trying real hard to, to take away the TTS privileges from everyone right now. <laughs> That's trying real hard to make sure <laughs> DTS costs a lot more. <laughs> that might be better. What's happening? Just TTS. Just some TTS shit. You know the drill. This is why we can't have nice things. It, it probably does need a cooldown, yeah. We'll figure it out. Blow them up. Oh, GP. You disappoint me. That's a raccoon. All right. I'm putting it on a cooldown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have no more fun things allowed. I mean, do I really give a shit about these? I kind of want to play Mutant from here, but... Viewer rewards, channel points, manage rewards. Alright. There's now a cooldown. <laughs> Pogo. A slight cooldown. Merchant does not affect clear mind, though. No. It's only units. It doesn't count as a unit. Uh, kind of thought a pre level. Fuck it. I want to hold on by pair. Uh, what am I doing with my items, by the way? Man, I feel like this is supposed to be a mutant game. Like, I hold Cho potentially. Oh, give me a Vi game. That's a Vi too. With... I'm down to just keep winning or to start winning more. I like winning. Blue buff buy with Celestial is kind of fucking crazy, though. This is, like, the best buy spot I feel like I've ever seen in my fucking life. I don't want JG, though. I, I, I'm i not going to send JG unless I need to. I mean, it's not even... No, it's definitely never JG. It doesn't really affect fights, because there's a good chance she doesn't crit. And uh, even if she does, it's not that much extra damage compared to just creating a, another rod. I have a lot of people already, anyways, so I'm probably losing some fights, at least. This slot Vi is blue buff, Rabadons, plus... It depends if you have, like, a defensive augment or not. Do I care about 2-star GP? 
Oh, I am playing win streak marks if I hold it. Maybe. I also kind of want to try. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm the worst Mercs player at trying to lose streak. <laughs> I never actually try to lose streak when I play Mercs. Okay, I'm I'm kind of down to sell GP pair. I feel like I'm kind of down to sell GP pair. Uh, and do I want to win? I mean, I still have Merkins. Like, I don't really give a shit about winning or losing. I'd rather not slam JG because it means that if I don't get Rabadons, I'm just kind of fucked for a while. I feel like I take Cho here over GP pair. I just got to Merc quickly. I get Mutant Spat here guaranteed, right? Every time we hit Mutant Spat here? Oh, what the fuck? Huh? That's a, oh, I got, did I get four gold twice for winning? Holy shit. Why am I so rich? To be some Sister Fister at mid set? I hope so. I mean, this is, if there was ever a mutant for Vi, it's Synaptic Web. Oh. Oh. I mean, the out is basically, if we don't hit, um... Holy shit, my items are insane. I'm down to slam a JG. I'm down to sell Cho and just pretend that we're, uh... Now we're playing Vi. Because we're going to Merc for a little while anyways. Yeah, I mean, we can just play very normal Vi as well from this spot. Our items are pretty nasty. What's the Mutant? It's Synaptic Web, which... I mean, now I don't have room for Mutant's Bad Honor, so we're not really caring about Mutant too much anymore. Punch first, ask questions later. Yeah, having Celestial is, is pretty nuts as well, I will say. For the spot. It's pretty fucking nuts. Oh my god. <laughs> the kind of damage this unit does, man. Holy shit. I'll re-roll her if I have like two more. Like I'll play mutant if I don't so here's the thing, right? If I see more vies on stage three, I play Vi roll. If I don't see more vies on stage three, I play mutant. As what the spot spot is, essentially. We just keep getting money. It's not as big as the Quinn 2 to Quinn 3 damage spike, but it's pretty big. You really need Jinx, though, is the problem. Like, like really, really need Jinx. Uh, this is probably the best one off to play. Here's just magic resistance for her. She'll kill people and spread it like a plague. Just keep playing work, because why not, I guess? I don't know. Why not? Fuck yeah, spread it. <laughs> right, I need a crit. Oh, big damage. She's just better Swain. Not really better Swain, but she's just Swain. You know, let me make a let me make a character limit as well. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I can't. Oh me, oh my. Oh me, oh my. All right. I'll probably just vibe for a minute. And then, I mean, my, my augments are fucking crazy for this. I uh, I really just want to play Vi, I'll be honest. Is this better? I have a lot of patience. Yeah. Some might say too much patience. <laughs> Some being me. <laughs> Probably better. No, they're they're close. Two more gold in my chest. I mean if I just play at least want to play infinite bruisers. Yeah, I don't know how clear mine can even be offered on stage three. <laughs> oh that ult. Sheesh. Okay. Also, what's up, Flu? How's the training going? Uh, I consistently get sidetracked and play stupid shit. Is how the training is going. <laughs> is Mystery Merc better than Yordle? Uh, I think on average, yes. But you play where I, I don't know. It's technically, yes. But if you start losing, you have to cash out, which is hard. Hard to cash out in this economy. So I need items for... A secondary carry, which for now might just be Kog'Maw. 
I can take this Echo, though. Well, it's not bad either, but I can't do a Trap Cliver. By getting first with Bite Reroll, it's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, Exile Bruges is pretty cracked. I mean, honestly, from this spot, I would do this tomorrow. <laughs> I, I think I would probably reroll Vi from this spot tomorrow. If I were, uh, you know. I'm I'm pretty sure it's reroll Vi over Munda. Over, uh, I don't know, man. I want to see, I want to do something here. I think I'm going to play reroll Vi. Okay. Oh, thank God. I was questioning myself. I shouldn't have questioned myself. I shouldn't have questioned myself. I was like, okay, I should just play Mal's, but no, no, Mal's is for the weak. Vi is for the the truly strong of heart and mind. Particularly with Exile, I mean, Exile is really good for Malzahar as well from the spot. Turn five to take your top twos into bot fours by baiting yourself and playing Thomas. Yeah, DK feels a little monk a W right now. I actually like the idea of playing this guy. Why am I playing this Mouse? I don't really want to be playing this Mouse. I do want this guy, though. Okay, we're getting there. Is this actually a comp, you ask? Keyshaw. This is better. I don't think this is better than that. So I need this guy. The fight ends too quickly for Echo to really matter, I think. Right now. He's not even going to ult before the, the fight's just over. So I'd rather just make that even more apparent by putting Enforcer in. I love E2 is too good on this board still. And, and Mal's 2 is also too good. I can't play a bunch of 1 costs or 1 star units to uh, 1 star units over them. Yeah, when you get Sister in, this board really pops. Is what I'll say. By pops, I mean pops the enemy front line and back line and all of the above. Okay, I'm going to need this in eventually. I want to get rid of his miles. I probably get rid of it now. I have plenty of money. I'm probably going to hit copium. Well, I shouldn't have gotten rid of it yet, but what's the fun in, in holding on to it, I guess? Eh. <laughs> probably not playing this guy. Too much front line as it is. Is that a fawn? No, it's a bunch of gold. I thought it was going to be a fawn. I don't think I've ever had more money in a game of TFT than I've had in this game of TFT. It's kind of insane how much money I have. Uh, I do want to play list, kind of, but I'll do this. Do I care about Trundle that much? I care about Trundle a little bit, but why not that much? Eh, I probably, I might as well just hang on for Trundle. Fuck it. I might as well just hang on for Trundle and just tap two carries. Like, I could play level for Mundo there, but I think this is fine. With Exile, Trundle can actually be a real carry. I don't want to reroll at six anymore, though, because I need to go eight and find a uh, Jinx. If I don't find Jinx this game, I'm... Look kind of smudge. Hopefully I'll just natural trundle along the way. Because I definitely can't roll anymore. I'll go for another trundle. Mm -mm. We should see it naturally. It's a pretty solid chance we do. At very least. Uh, this uh this swain does not know what's about to happen <laughs> this swain thinks they're the he's the uh the corner master i'll have you meet celestial vi wait she almost lost holy one challenger spot uh like from this spot i could i definitely could bt is probably a little more important i think we can't spat as well I think Connect Spat would probably be a little better than Challenger Spat, but maybe not. Thing is, this wants to turn into Jace, not Fiora. I doesn't want to be a Fiora. Eternal reroll. It's because uh, Swain also heals. <laughs> right? 
And they have an enchanter in, don't they? I think so. We're gonna say it's that and co beam it up. Say trundle roll and it's four one to have like four trundles or something. Is it worth saying six to reload or you pivot into something else? Um I mean if you only have four trundles at, at four one, probably not worth staying in it. You gotta remember that like you gotta keep in keep in account your, your tempo. Because if you just stay on level six for the whole game, even if you hit trundle three, like if you hit trundle three at like the end of stage four, you're not gonna be strong enough come five one anyways. Uh, so you just have to look for a better option, more than likely, from that spot. And chain's never bad. I don't slam anything, though. GA is useless here. What augment do we want here? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> anything Bruiser-related, probably? We'll roll on 7, and we'll either hit Trundle... Or roll on 8, and we'll either hit Trundle 3, or we won't. We probably will, eventually. I don't want to chain Echo, because I want Sword to get scrap. One more Exile would actually be kind of cool. Is ever Warwick over second trundle for Chemtech plus Challenger? Definitely not, right? I think trundle should probably do more. All right. I wonder if Yone beats Va. Oh, he has enforced. <laughs> He's gonna blow up. <laughs> Imagine playing Yone into Vi. Pepe la. <laughs> My augments could not be better for this board. <laughs> Holy shit! They got blown up. Man, Vi is the best. Is, is definitely my my favorite unit. This isn't my favorite comp to play, but this is my favorite unit to play around. Mm, makeshift's not the end of the world. I could just take a challenger spat. Makeshift affects this, this. It doesn't affect Trundle though. I can put items, I can take items off Trundle and just put them on Jinx. I'm out of Echo eventually. I can just do binary. I mean, I'll get binary value. It'll probably count me out the highest. Okay, we'll just take binary. I mean, I'll live for a long time this game, so I can probably binary like three or four units. My favorite these days, fun-wise, can I get explosion boards are my favorite. This board's pretty fun though too, I will say. <laughs> Board is pretty fun too. <laughs> this Yone is about to get the shit blown out of him by oh wait, that sounds a little weird. Uh I mean it's true though. <laughs> Man, this board's too sick. Also, what's up, Zeke? How's it going? Blow his shit, yeah. Vi just blew Yone's shit. Uh, probably not force scrap. Could be force scrap though. Honestly, like being able to keep uh, being able to keep the echo round is never bad. I can definitely drop uh, enforcer. This wants to be Jinx, right? I can play Jinx. I can play like Jinx. This this. Play four scrap, and we could definitely work around it. We'll see. We'll be pretty decent. I think I get so much shield from Exile already that I feel like I just want a little more damage. It's a GA for Jinx, probably. Oh, should I got a Nico? Do I have a roll here? I did once. I think I actually just go nine, though, don't I? Pretty sure I'm supposed to go nine. Challenger spot probably, which means it's Death Blade. Don't need Challenger in then. I'm pretty sure it's just the nine angle, because I need to find Jinx, and I'll either natural the. I mean, I have a Nico, so I have a good chance of hitting Trundle three here. Shouldn't even rolled once. This is a hard board to beat because they're all really fucking tanky. <laughs> like, really fucking tanky. Mm -mm. Uh, I mean, I have too much HP and a ton of money. So, it's it's really hard. The thing is, if I roll an 8 here, I'm, well, all, the only thing I'm looking for is a 5 cost, right? Realistically. I mean, I said realistically, but it's fine there. Like, the only thing I like that spikes my board is a 5 cost. Uh, and so rolling at 8-4 when I can just go 9 and play a stronger board at 9 anyways, it's fine. Let's just wait to see the Vi come out at mid-set. It depends on whether or not I get a good spot for it. <laughs> I get a good spot for Vi, I'll play Vi at mid-set for sure. I want to be Scholar, would it? Although, I wonder how Scholar affects Vi. 
wonder if it makes her actually ult more or not. I bet it would. Scholar's actually sent, seems pretty good here. The BT roll is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the thing about Vi is that the only times you can play Vi are games that are as high roll as this game. Like, 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 she's really good if you find the right, if you're in the right spot for her, but she is so fucking bad if you try to force her. Like, super bad. I basically natural Vi 3 this game. And not really, I rolled a little bit for her, but I had my natural perfect items of natural Vi 2. It was, yeah, it's a pretty crazy spot for her. The secret pocket tech. <laughs> people, people know a little bit. It's not for scrap right now, is it? Over one trundle in the Fiora? Probably not. Keep your board. She is an enforcer. True. I'm pretty sure all these Yone's just get blown up. <laughs> like pretty positive, all these Yone players get blown the fuck up. Oh, she this this board kind of poops on me though. No, unless you know, I have I think Vi actually has a decent matchup in Kogma, as weird as it sounds, because she just kind of kills everything instantly. It's really hard for him to ever ramp properly, because they clump front lines so much. Mm -mm. Seven camp dagger, four twin shot, Nurgle carry. Uh, depends what you need and what your items are. If you have a lot of frontline already, then I mean, yeah, I think you probably want to go five camp tech, two twin shot, and just play better units more often than not. Warmogs for Jinx would have been cool. None of these do anything. Shojin? I don't really want a trap claw. I mean, I guess trap claw is solo Jinx. <laughs> uh, it's not like Shojin as much either. All right, we'll just put a trap claw on, a, on Jinx. When has been set? Uh, Tomorrow is when the tournament starts. That's a lonely Poro. How's it going? I mean, I could just not give Jinx Exile. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Trap Claw to people, but it's probably not worth it. We'll just hold on to the Trap Claw. Her being immune to one spell would not be terrible. Because it's just Jinx, and then this turns into Janna, right? And this turns into List, probably. It's probably better right now, even. I don't think I really need Twin Shot as much as I want a Scholar. Maybe I'm wrong, though. We'll see. That's on who's left alive as well, probably. Jinx, can you just go to the back line? Or, bye, can you go to the back line, please? What are you doing chilling on the front line, bro? They're right there, waiting for you. There you go. There you go. There you go, lady. See, that's how you do it. Oh, don't worry. This is a first, for sure. <laughs> this is a guaranteed first. So healing is it shielding? Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's actually nuts. I, I think uh rather than force scrap, I'd probably just play I don't know. A scholar actually sounds really good on the board, is the thing. Scholar looks really good on this board. Oh, they moved. Smart. Although maybe it's better for me, I don't really know. I like it playing Enforcer. I mean I get enforced too. I wonder if Trundle 3 has more HP than Vi 3. I actually, I don't know. I mean, if he rolls a belt item off binary for sure, yeah, he does. I think Warmogs per unit? Yeah, it's pretty insane. A little over a Warmogs per unit. I really want four scrap. I'd rather play Yumi than play for Scrap, right? Oh, it's a good item. It's gonna be Warmog's Trap Claw Jinx. <laughs> She's gonna have the biggest, uh, the biggest shield you have ever seen in your fucking life. Like, I'll just take Trundle items and put them on Jinx, which might be the way to go. But it's Jinx two. It's definitely Trundle items on Jinx, and just don't go for Trundle three. Let her do some damage. Let's see what we get. Jace. Oh. Okay, there's Trundle 3. I'm going to get dizzy for a second here, but I have enough HP where it doesn't really matter, does it? All right, I'm just going to make it. Fuck it. Oh, God. How do you even position this? I guess for a turn, I need Jinxy Boy in the... Over that. And I'll figure out if I want Urgot or the other guy. I'm pretty sure I'm not playing Jace here. I ran two trundles. There's just nothing better to run. Synergies weren't really better.
All right. Pretty good, pretty good. Never punished. What's up, Cosmo? I think I do want Fiora in, right? How real is Challenger? I mean, I could play four Enforcer as well, or like five Chemtech. There are a couple ways to go. I don't really need the Echo, is the thing. I don't want Mundo or that other guy, right? Not Mundo. I his name is already. TK. Dude, why is it so hard to hit a fucking Jinx, though? I swear. This unit is the hardest unit in the game to hit. When you need her. Maybe I just put the items on this guy, then. No, I'm kind of down to put items on this guy. Let her vibe. I still don't think your mom or scams on the jackpot yesterday. <laughs> I mean, Mundo's, Mundo Ergon, I feel like everything in Chemtech is so hard to hit, even when no one's playing it. I don't know why, man. They're always so hard to hit, though. Okay, I just don't give a shit about Scholar, right? That's Ergot, too. These are fewer eggs, I have Challenger's bat. And I'd like to make use of that. And Jace isn't that much better than the fewer I hear. Because he doesn't when he would be ulting himself, essentially. He'd be ulting only himself. This Echo is really good. Alright, Jinx, Pogo. My last upgrade. I think I want to be same side. We'll try it. We might just die instantly with the Fiora, though. Okay. I guess we don't want to be same side. I had a feeling that might happen. <laughs> I had a feeling that that might happen. I can frontline Jinx as well, actually. Frontlining Jinx would be pretty good here. Just get her to ult quickly. Next bat, Yumi. Mm. There's like nothing here. We'll take him next bat for Fiora. She's gonna be an extra unit we stack, right? I'm pretty sure Trunnel gets enforced. Oh, it's a 50-50 on who gets enforced. They moved Quinn over, but they didn't move their other stuff. Hmm. Oh, Jinx gets enforced. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> not uh not not Vi. I heard Jinx has a warmogs. Cuke. Ooh. This Fiora with GS kind of shits on my board, I will say. This GS Fiora is like custom made to poop on me. So, what do you want to change? We could, I mean, we could look at a four enforcer thing. Just drop this, this. Problem is that why is less on hitting Jason and more on hitting Caitlyn. This needs to be in the right spot as well, obviously. I'd like her to ult sooner. We'll try it up, up for a round. I wish I didn't have the position on Exile. I kind of hate it. Full dodge jinx. <laughs> Pogo. Ayumi would be nice as well. I don't know. We'll see. Just this Fiora and does so much damage. Although if Trundle gets on it, it's pretty good. Nope, still not enough. She just heals up to full every single time. Because she has a... I mean, it's Knife's Edge, Handshake, and Celestial Fiora. I can put Vi like here and look for a better uh, better thing. I think four challengers probably the best, or four enforcer might be our best, or might be our best bet. Can't speak. Eh, Tom for Mundo, it might be. And the thing is, they have trap claw, but it might just be regardless. Can I hit Caitlyn at nine? Is the question. <laughs> can I hit Caitlyn at nine? I can probably win the fight. Might just be better. I'm gonna skip it. I didn't put the items on in time. Fuck. Smoge. I didn't get binary value. It's bad. I kinda got binary value on two more units. That's really bad. 
I got. I always hear with binary that you have to put it on that early. That sucks. Oh, they put Fiora in a spot where they just got blown up though, so that's good. <laughs> that's pretty good. But I mean, that was Papega.